Well, in today's video, we're going to work on having, upon, and on. But before that, thank you each and every one of you for bringing this YouTube channel to 17 subscribers, the newest of whom is DDUX. So thanks again, and hopefully we get more. Having, upon, and on. Now, how does this work? Before we begin with the questions, let's have a few examples. Having prepared the ingredients, the chef began stir-frying. So you see how that works. Number one, this shows you that this action happened first, then this action took place. So basically, it's a way of telling you which action took place first. Prepare the ingredients first, then begin stir frying. Another point, after the word having, we should use something called the past participles. If you don't know what past participles are, there's a link below for you to check out. Second example, having played football for hours, Jim was exhausted. So first he played football for hours, then he was exhausted. Next example, having eaten too much ice cream. Again, pay attention, this is the past participle. So after eating too much ice cream, the toddler had a stomach upset. So let's try a few questions, shall we? Amira has completed her homework. She decided to watch her favorite television program. So this happened first, followed by this. Let's use the past participle. Having completed her homework, Amira decided to watch her favorite television program. So here we have to use the past participle of complete, which is completed. Question two, Irfan felt proud of himself. He rode his bicycle without the training wheels. So he did this, then he felt proud of himself. Okay, what's the past participle of ride? Okay, having ridden his bicycle without the training wheels, comma, Irfan felt proud of himself. Fiona wrote a poem for her best friend. She felt joyful. So what happened first? She wrote a poem first, right? Then she felt joyful. Having means we're going to use the past participle. What is the past participle of write? It is written. Having written a poem for her best friend, Fiona felt joyful. Do not forget the comma. Henry drank the expired milk. Henry had a stomach ache. So what happened first? drinking the expired milk, yeah? So we have to change drank, the past tense, to the past participle. And the past participle of drink is drunk, the one with the UN, yeah? So having drunk the expired milk, comma, Henry had a stomach ache. Uh, separate this, two words. He came in second place in the art contest. He pumped his fists in the air. So what happened first? Well, he won second place first, and then he celebrated by doing this. So what is the past participle of came? It is not came common mistake there. So having come in second place in the art contest, he pumped his fist in the air. See that? The past participle of come is come. Exercise two, the mischievous boy ran away after ringing his neighbor's doorbell. So what happened first? Question one, the mischievous boy ran away after ringing his neighbor's doorbell. So what happened here first? The ringing of the doorbell first, then running away. Yeah. So ask yourself, what is the past participle of ring? Right, it is the UN. So having rung his neighbor's doorbell, comma, the mischievous mischievous boy ran away. Juhun swam twenty laps across the Olympic sized pool. He was exhausted. So having swum twenty laps across the Olympic sized pool, Juhun was exhausted. The past participle or swim is swum. Linda drove her son to school, then she went jogging in the park. So having driven her son to school, driven being the past tense, past participle of drive, then after that, Linda went jogging in the park. The thief took the pen and quietly slipped it into her pocket. So first she took the pen, then she slipped it into her pocket. Yeah. So having taken the pen, comma, the thief quietly slipped it into her pocket. The guest overate at the buffet. He had a stomach ache. So having overeaten at the buffet, the guest had a stomach ache. Exercise three, I did not go to school as I was having diarrhea. So this happened first, then this resulted. So having had diarrhea, I did not go to school. Question two, Andy and Alan discussed the available options. They decided to travel to America. So this happened first. Why is the past participle of discussed? So it is discussed, it's a regular verb. So having discussed the available options, Andy and Alan decided to travel to America. Lucas tore his worksheet accidentally. He was afraid to tell his teacher. So this happened first, yeah? What is the past participle of tear? So having torn his worksheet accidentally, 
Lucas was afraid to tell his teacher. She bade farewell to her friends at the airport before boarding the plane. So she did this first, yeah? Question, what is the past participle of bid? So having bidden farewell to her friends at the airport, she boarded the plane. Question 5. I placed the rabbit back in the cage after removing the soiled, the dirtied newspapers. Having removed the soiled newspapers, I placed the rabbit back into the cage, in the cage. Exercise 4. So now we are starting with upon, no longer having. Now, upon and on are kind of similar, but before that, let me show you a few example sentences uh, and how they work. First example, on arriving at the airport, Sarah hit a taxi with her mobile. So do you see what how that works? Okay, this happened first, followed by this. And notice another thing. We are no longer using the past participles, right? We are using the ing form. So on arriving at the airport, this is a gerund. Upon this happening, Sarah hailed a taxi with her mobile phone. Second example, on seeing, again, the ing, the majestic elephant, the photographer whipped out his camera. Another example. On obtaining his pilot license, Matthew bought his own plane. So this happened first, got his pilot license, then Matthew bought his own plane. And back to the questions. The pupils rushed to the canteen, the pupils heard the bell for recess. So they must have heard this first, then they did this, right? So now we're going to use the ING. On hearing the bell for recess, comma, the pupils rushed to the canteen. The naughty boys saw their teacher at the door they ran back to their seats. So this must have happened first. Our uh, ING again, upon seeing their teacher at the door, comma, the naughty boys ran back to their seats. The burglar saw the policeman, he climbed out of the window and escaped. So he must have seen them first, uh, seen the policeman first. So upon seeing the policeman, the burglar climbed out of the window and escaped. The space shuttle released an unmanned probe. So basically it's a craft that has no pilot in it after it landed on Mars. So the space shuttle, upon landing on Mars, the space shuttle released an unmanned probe. Lena could not control her emotion and broke down in tears when she received her special talent award. So this must have happened first, then the crying, yeah? So upon receiving her special talent award, comma, Lena could not control her emotion and broke down in tears. Auntie Sharon heard the bad news, she fainted. So this must have happened first, right? So upon hearing the bad news, comma, Auntie Sharon fainted. As soon as the celebrity arrived, she was ushered to the stage. She was guided, okay, to the stage. Upon the upon her arrival, comma, the celebrity was ushered to the stage. So in this case, we're not using the ING. We are using the noun form of arrive. The deer fled when it spotted the tiger among the bushes. So this must have happened first. So upon spotting the tiger among the bushes, the deer fled. Suchin heard the bad news, she cried. So she must have heard the bad news first. Yeah. Upon hearing the bad news, comma, Suchin cried. Our enemy advanced. We readied ourselves for a tough battle. So um, so this must have happened first. The enemy approached. So upon the advancement not the ing, we are using the noun form of advanced, of our enemy, comma, we readied ourselves for a tough battle. Exercise 6, we are dealing with upon again. Queenie heard the news that grandmother had been involved in a car accident. She fainted. So this must have happened first. Upon hearing the news that grandmother had been involved in a car accident, Queenie fainted. Joanne went for the job interview as soon as she received the call. So she must have received the call first, then she went for the job interview. So what's the ING form? Yeah. Upon receiving the call, Joanne went for the job interview. Question three, as soon as the police arrived at the scene, they surrounded the kidnapper's hideout. So there's more than one kidnapper here because it's S apostrophe. Uh, well, this must have happened here. Yeah. We are gonna use the, the ING form in this case. Upon arriving at the scene, comma, the police surrounded the kidnappers Hideout. Everybody cheered when they heard the news. So the results. Must have heard the results first, then you cheer, right? So upon hearing their results, comma, everybody cheered. Mrs. Tan woke up from her nap. She cooked dinner for her twins. So she must be must have woken up first. Upon waking up from her nap, ING form, Mrs. Tan cooked dinner for her twins. 
Exercise 7, the question starts with on instead of upon, but we're still going to use the ing form. Asman jumped for joy when he heard the good news. Okay, on hearing the good news, comma, Asman jumped for joy. I won the first prize at the lucky draw last night. I was delighted. So this must have happened first. ing form. On winning the first prize at the lucky draw last night, comma, I was delighted. The burglar heard the sirens of the police patrol car. He climbed out of the window and escaped. So on hearing the sirens of the police patrol car, comma, the burglar climbed out of the window and escaped. The trapped miners wept for joy when they saw rescue workers. So this must have happened first. Sorry, seeing the rescue workers happen first, then they cried. So on seeing the rescue workers, the trapped miners wept for joy. When my sister won the singing competition, she wept with joy and lots of weeping for joy. Let's take a look. Oh, notice on is no longer the first word. So now you have to tell me what happened after that and then what happened first over here. Uh, what do I mean? My sister wept with joy on winning the singing competition. Exercise 8. Another question where on is no longer the first word. When my brother received the award, he wept with joy. Another one crying out of happiness again. So. My brother wept with joy on receiving the award. Happy tears. Question two. Mrs. Tan went to visit her father at the hospital. She heard that he had been warded for a chest infection. So she must have heard this first. On hearing that her father had been warded for a chest infection, Mrs. Tan, do not forget Mrs. Tan, right, went to visit him at the hospital. Now these are sad tears. Chitra heard the bad news, she broke down and cried. On hearing the bad news, comma, Chitra broke down and cried. And now good news. Jenny shouted excitedly after she heard the great news. On hearing the great news, Jenny shouted excitedly. The robber ran away after he saw the police officer. Upon seeing the police officer, comma, the robber ran away. And that's the end of this question type. Hope it was productive for you and I wish you a fantastic day. See you in the next video.